Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? What are you doing, Wigglebutt? What are you doing? What are you doing, silly girl? What are you doing, silly girl? You just throwing yourself on the floor? You just throwing yourself down on the floor. What are you doing? <laughs> you being silly. You being a silly girl. Mama. Somebody has finally started to open up and relax and come out of her shell. Right? Right, Gladys? <laughs> I don't know what it was, but after our vet visit yesterday, um, I don't know if because she was so scared at the vet that she was so happy to be back here. But last night and this morning, she's just like a big, happy puppy. She was so excited to see me this morning and her butt was wiggling back and forth and she was hopping all around and it was just so adorable. And I didn't have time to get my phone out. Um, to try to get it on video this morning, so I figured once everybody had been out a couple of times and got the house cleaned and the rooms clean, everybody's fed and content, I would come in and see if I could get her to do it again. She started playing with toys yesterday. She hadn't touched anything really in this room since she'd been in here except for the beds, just going back and forth on the beds. Um, but yesterday she started picking up toys and she found the Benny Bone yesterday, which she really likes. I also came in here yesterday and sat on the couch and she jumped right up on the couch next to me for the first time. Are you enjoying that? So we'll get her blood results back. Um, some point today, um, from Dr. Kesha, if you missed yesterday's video, she was started on an antibiotic for her skin. She was vaccinated, microchipped. We got the blood work back. He thinks she's pretty young, actually, younger than we thought like a year. Um, we don't know exactly what the scar is from yet, um, but we are going to see Dr. Bovetsky, our board certified surgeon, on February 7th, which is a Monday, and she will most likely have to sedate her. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly girl? Um, to be able to get x-rays of her legs um, and then we could potentially put the ultrasound probe on her to see if she has um, ovaries or uterus or any reproductive organs. That's really the only way we're going to know without opening her up and of course we don't want to open her up if we don't have to. So she's set to go see Dr. Bovetsky. Bovetsky. It's cold, I can't speak. Um, on Monday, February 7th. And we should have her blood work back later today. Praying, praying. She's not heartworm positive. Um, we know she got chewed up out there by mosquitoes and bugs and everything. So
Yeah, we're wondering if, you know, she just grew so big so fast that maybe, you know, a lot of times when these big breed dogs grow too fast, um, their bones can't keep up. So maybe that's what's going on with her knees and maybe it, you know, it'll eventually correct itself. I mean, we won't know till we have her really checked out. So again, that will be on February 7th with Dr. Bovetsky, our board certified surgeon. You got that toy stuck on your bone. Uh, yes, the blood work will test for heartworm disease. It will test for ehrlichia, anaplasmosis, all of the uh, diseases that we need to look for. Um, they don't believe she had a cesarean because uh, Dr. Kesha said her vulva is underdeveloped. So he actually thinks... That's why he thinks it is potentially a spay scar and that they spayed her prior to her first heat cycle. I mean, you can tell by her nipples that she's never had a litter. I mean, she's got teeny tiny like puppy nipples. But she is enjoying herself now, finally. She is learning that she is safe and that she can relax and she can play with her toys and chew on her bones and just be a happy puppy, which is just so good to see because she was so uneasy and guarded the first few days. So it's nice to see her kind of relax and decompress. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. <laughs> you are going to town on that bone, Mommy. So, um, again, guys, I do have the links on this video if you'd like to donate towards Gladys and her ongoing care and her upcoming vet visit. Um, unfortunately, there's something going on with Facebook and not being able to put the donate button on here with my phone, which is an Android, uh, and Amy's phone, which is also an Android. Um, it's got to be some some kind of glitch. Maybe they updated their systems and... Something happened where the droids are not able to do it now. So that is why all the links are on there if you'd like to donate towards Gladys and her ongoing care. Mamas, what are you doing? <laughs> Going to town on that Benny bone. You're going to go through them pretty quick if you keep chewing that hard. All right, guys. I should have picked up the Benny bone before I started the video. <laughs> because now she's occupied. Um, yes, she has given me a few kisses. I, of course, was, um, a little nervous. You know, she's new to us. We don't know her that well. You know, and she was very guarded herself. So, you know, you have to be extra cautious. She's a very big dog, 125 pounds. So I just sat there and let her do it. She gave me a little kisses. Yesterday, she gave me a big kiss in the car yesterday. She 
She's been pretty good with everybody she's met. We're still working on a couple of our volunteers. Um, a couple she hasn't met yet that she still needs to meet. And then um, a couple that she's not, she's not great with yet. And we don't know why. We never know why. You know, it could be something from her past. We don't know, but we're working on it. But just to see her kind of come out of her shell a little bit the last 24 hours has been really, really great. Hey, honey. Um, we have, we, we've been a little bit slow on the videos, guys, just because we've had a lot going on. We've had a lot going on with a lot of our dogs. Um, for instance, I'm taking Lance to the vet today. Um, we've done, um, you know, we had the puppy, we had Gladys. I've got Mario, which is consistent. Um, we have had to deal with Ivan and Sassy and Gamma and and then the normal just everyday stuff on top of that of taking care of two rescue houses and getting the dogs out and rotated and the homes cleaned and vacuumed and mopped and tons and tons of laundry and and then you know having to run and and take dogs to just normal vet visits and run and do home checks and meet and greets and it's this, there's just been a lot thrown at us in a very short period of time. So we try to keep you guys as updated um, as we can. But sometimes it is going to be a little slow on the page because we're just all so busy. Like I said, I do have Lance that I'm taking to the vet today. Unfortunately, he's got a bit of an eye infection, and for Lance to go to the vet, it is um, a big deal because he needs to be sedated. Um, you know, he's got the shunt, he can't be manhandled, and he gets very nervous. So it's, it's a big process for, for little Lance. And they have to do everything we can while he's there because he's not tolerating of us putting drops in his eyes or doing any of that kind of stuff to him. So <clears throat> it'll be a big, pretty big vet visit for him today. And, I, and again, like I said, we had the puppy Rhea that was in the hospital. We had Sassy that was in the hospital. We had Abby Rose that was in the hospital. We had Ivan that was in the hospital. We have Gamma that is currently still in the hospital. Um, it's just, it's been a lot, a lot. So when we can jump on real quick, we will. And of course we try to keep you guys as updated as possible. Prinny, yes, Prinny was out of the, in and out of the hospital. That was a huge toll on us mentally. So it's just been a lot. It's been a lot thrown at us in a very short period of time. So we're just trying to like dig ourselves out of the hole and get our heads above water and try to get to somewhat of a normal normalcy again. But luckily, everybody is out of the hospital. I don't know if Ivan is out of the hospital. I know Ivan had surgery and it was successful. He may still be in the hospital. Um, but everybody else is out of the hospital except for Gamma. Gamma is currently hospitalized, and we don't know how long she's going to be hospitalized. Um, oh, Dharma. How did I forget about Dharma? Oh, Dharma. Two trips to the neurologist and... You know, she's still not walking great, so Dharma's, Dharma's a lot of work here at the rescue house. So, yeah, 
that's why, guys, that's why we haven't been so present and vocal um, on the page because we've been very, very busy at both houses. But we're trying. We're trying. And it doesn't help that they Facebook screwed up our donate button. And now we've got all these major medicals that we can't use the donate button for. Um, so that's why we put the links on the videos. Um, the PayPal link, the Venmo link, and of course our mailing address if you'd prefer to mail a check. <clears throat> because even though all those dogs that I just mentioned are no longer in the hospital, we still have their hospital bills. And we've got more coming with Mario going back and forth to the hospital. Dharma's probably going to have to go to the neurologist again shortly. Lance is going to the hospital today. Gladys is going to our um, board certified surgeon, potentially going to have surgery. So we have very, very high existing bills from all the dogs I mentioned, and then we still have ongoing medical bills. Ivan is still in the hospital, Amy. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought maybe they kept him. Yeah, and I do believe Gamma was transferred from Leader to uh, Blue Pearl and back under the care of Dr. Cannon. If I am not mistaken, I believe she was transferred yesterday from Leader to um, Blue Pearl and Dr. Cannon. Um, are Twinkle and Sparkle available? I believe so. That would be a question for Amy since that's her house and she takes all the phone calls. There we go. Twinkle is available. Thanks, Amy. I don't know much about what happens in the Laxahatchee house as far as adoption, guys. Um, Amy gets all of the um, phone calls and responses, you know, to the emails and, and does everything with the here <coughs> while I'm busy down here. So, yes, Gamma is at Blue Pearl. That's what I thought. Yeah, so Gamma is still hospitalized at Blue Pearl under the care of Dr. Cannon, and we have no idea how long she's gonna be in the hospital. But, um, like I said, we still have the existing hospital bills from Abby Rose, from Rhea, from Sassy, from Dharma, from Mario, um, from Gamma, from Ivan, Princess, um, I know I'm missing, Glad uh, who else? I know I'm missing, I think I'm missing some. We've just had so many in the hospital lately, it's unbelievable. We've not had so many critical cases at once in a really long time. So again guys, unfortunately the donate button is not there. Um, until we can figure out what's going on with the droids and the donate button, we will post the PayPal link, the Venmo link, and our mailing address if you would like to mail a check. I wish this video was a little more exciting, but it was exciting in the beginning and then she found her bone and she has been quite, quite entertained with that bone. <laughs> So I am going to sign off now, guys, but this is Tiffany from Rescue House One with our big, beautiful Gladys. Thank you all who have made a donation um, for all of our critical babies and all of our babies still in need of medical care like Gladys. Um, truly couldn't do it without you guys. So this is Tiffany and Gladys from Rescue House One, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Hope you enjoy your Tuesday. Right, Gladys? Right, Mommy? Say yes. Say yes.
Tyra, yay! Are you happy? <laughs> now you're gonna get up at the end of the video. Now you're gonna get up at the end of the video. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful slobbery girl. Beautiful slobbery girl. Whoever gets you is not gonna have to not be afraid of slobber. Because I pretty much am wearing it all day long. <laughs> Back to your bone. Here we go. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you enjoy your Tuesday. Tiffany and Gladys, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.